If you're like me, you've been confused and maybe a little bit disappointed by how scroll tracking works in GA4. It only tracks when a user scrolls 90% down the page, which misses a lot of important interactions. And if you have a website where you have maybe blog comments or a big footer or something, most users probably don't get 90% down the page. But also it's really hard to report on. So we're going to talk about how to replace the built-in scroll tracking event with a much better version that tracks 25, 50, 75, and 100% scrolls down the page and is much easier to report on. I'll also record a video that shows how you can bring this data into Looker Studio and actually be able to see the percentage of people that scroll different percentages down the page. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to set up the scroll event in Tag Manager. And the first thing that we need to do is to go into variables. I've already got these enabled, but let me show you where they are. So, so we have these scrolling variables. Go ahead and enable these uh, because we're going to use those in a trigger that we set up. So then if we go to triggers, what we're going to do is we're going to add a scroll depth trigger. Uh, that's a built-in trigger here. So you see this scroll depth. And then what I want to capture is vertical scroll depths. Possibly you're interested in horizontal uh, scrolling. In our case, we're just interested in vertical scrolling. So, and then the percentages that I care about are 25, 50, 75, 100. There's nothing about this, like you can pick your own if you just wanted to do 50 and 100 or I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40, you could, that, that's fine too. Nothing magical about these numbers. This is just the way that I like to do it. Uh, that's actually it for this trigger. Uh, I'm just gonna, I like to name, if, if I'm just using a standard trigger, I tend to like to name it just the, the, the name of the trigger. Now we're going to go to tags and I'm going to create a new, it's a GA4 event tag and I'm going to pick my configuration tag and then I'm using just scroll and this is really important because we're replacing the existing scroll event which is just called the scroll. I, I like to name my tags, the type of tag that they are. And if I'm adding a GA4 event tag, I always just use the event uh, that I'm, that I'm adding. I'm going to, we'll, we'll pick our scroll depth trigger. So you can see I already have one in here. I've, I have this set up. Um, I'm already collecting data. I want to show you what, what the data looks like once collected, but, um, the, uh, the one that I already have set up is identical. So we're not going to save quite yet. We're going to add a couple of parameters to this trigger. One that's really important is the percent scrolled. And this is going to replace the existing percent scrolled parameter from the, the automatic event. So, and this is what's going to populate the per percent scrolled dimension. Then the value of this is going to be that scroll depth threshold uh, that the variable that we enabled. So what that means is that the trigger is going to fire when somebody scrolls 25%. And the scroll depth threshold will be 25% in that case. So the value of this will be 25. So it's going to populate this parameter with 25. When a person scrolls 50%, the value of the scroll depth threshold they hit will be 50. And so it'll populate with that value. So essentially this is just popping in the value of how far they've scrolled down the page. The other one I'm going to do is a little weird, but I'm going to add this scroll count. And the reason I'm doing this is that the next thing we do after we publish this tag and start collecting data, we don't have to do it after, but um, after we set up this tag is we're going to go into GA4 and we're going to create a custom metric to capture scrolls. Um, and I'll, I'll explain why, why we'll be, do that in a minute. 
So this is everything we need. I can save this. Now, always preview, open the your website in Tag Assistant, test it, make sure it's doing what you want. Um, like I say, I already have this set up, so uh, we'll, we'll just sh I'll show you what I mean. It's going to open my website. Okay, so here's the website. Now, it, I've got a video that's going to throw a lot of events here, so I'm going to switch, let's say, to my blog page. And we'll do this session duration. It's a nice long post. So I'm going to scroll down. And then in Tag Assistant, we're going to see these, these scroll depths. Uh, and then we're going to see the, we actually have these two events because I just created a new one. I'm not going to publish the, the one that I just created. Um, so this is, we've got these different scroll depths. Um, and if we go to one of these scroll depth events, then we look at the, the scroll here, you can see, so the value is 25. If I go to the next event, then I look at this event. So now the value is 50 and I only scrolled apparently 50% down the page. So you should see these things firing. Uh, the scroll event with the event parameters percent scrolled and scroll count. If everything looks good, then you're going to want to go back ahead, back to Tag Manager and publish or submit. Um, and so now let's go over to analytics. So the other thing that I'm going to do, and again, I, I've already set this up, so I have data, so we have it to look at. But I'm going to add a couple of things here. Now, this this first one is weird. Uh, the I've added a custom definition for percent scrolled. Now, some of you might be like, well, there is already a per percent scrolled dimension. There is, and it will automatically populate with that per percent scroll, the value when a, a scroll event comes in with a percent scrolled parameter, it will populate this dimension. The reason I've created this is that as of when I recorded this, the standard percent scroll dimension for some reason doesn't show up in Google Tag Manager. Uh, I'm sorry, in Looker Studio. So I'm creating this custom definition. At some point, I assume Google will be uh, fixing that so that the standard percent scroll dimension is available in, in Looker Studio. But until then, uh, I've added this percent scroll uh, custom dimension. All right, so then let's look at this custom metric. So I created this scrolls custom metric. And let's have a look at that. So I'm taking the event parameter scroll count. So what this is doing is that every time a scroll event happens, the value of that scroll count parameter is one. So it's going to count a scroll. Pretty handy. So We'll, we'll look at that in, in the exploration. I guess I should have also shown you the setup here. Uh, if we go here, all this does is it just grabs the value of percent scroll. So it captures um, a, that as a, as a dimension. Okay, so, so we've got those. Now let's have a look at the resulting data in an exploration. So I've got this exploration I set up. I've been tracking this for about a week um, with these parameters set up this way. So in here you'll see we've got this scrolls metric and we've got the percent scrolled as a dimension. And then what I did is is I just did a standard freeform exploration and I have the rows as page location and the columns. This is very similar to the other one that I showed you that just had the 90% scrolls. So now I can see for a given page the number of people that scrolled down uh, 25%, 50, 75, 100. So right now what I have is a much more useful exploration because I can understand uh, where, like I'm not just looking at those 90% scrolls, but the way that I've set this up is going to enable what we're going to look at in the next video, which is taking this data in Looker Studio and really making it come alive. Uh, before you go, one really key thing that I almost forgot, uh, and that would have been bad, is, so we've added our custom scroll event. 
we need to disable the automatic event or we're, they're going to overlap. Now, maybe it's not really a problem because that one will fire at 90%, but it's not going to populate the scrolls metric that we created because it doesn't have that scroll count parameter. And I'm the, it's also just weird to leave it in. So let's, let's go to data streams. And what we need to do is if we click here, then we can disable that scroll, uh, that, that automatic event. So do that, save, and you'll be good to go.